Hey, hi, Abby. This is Robert here. I wanted you to. I want to go over this uh, family with you that we need you to create. So we looked at this one that you created. You attempted to create. It was the P seven forty five. So look at here. Now these are units that we created earlier. So what this plate has to do, it has to be um, a face base plate. Okay, so it has to be able to set on the unit stress. So let's get started on this one. I'm going to show you, run through this one right quick for you. So we want to go to new family. And let's go down to generic face base. And we'll say open. Now, once we open this, we want to set up. We, we need this to be have parameters, and it needs to be able to flex. So I want to just run through this one right quick for you to get you started. If it ever opens. Okay, now we are in our family template. So let's just do the normal thing. Let's create reference planes. Actually, for this... We want to do something a little differently. So let's just go reference flame. I want to put one here and one here as well. Also, now before we get started on, let's do this. Let's go on the manage tab and let's change the project units to decimal to, to uh, fractional. So we go to length here. I will change this to fractional inches because this is such a small little thing. So I'm going to say OK here. And now let's go and make these parameters for this side. So we want to do equality here, of course, that we always do. Make these equal. Yeah, there's a parameter across. It's 14 inches, but let's just say for now, let's call this our width parameter. Add a label here. Let's say width. A little bit tight, and we'll say OK. Now, flex that guy. Yeah, let's go back and look at our example. We don't know the width because of this example. See, we don't know the width here. So, what we'll do is we'll call it 1 and let's make it 1 and 7 eighths for the width, overall width. So, let's give this. In our type properties, this width one oh. we'll click apply. Okay. So now for this particular uh, family. Let's go on to our left side. No, let's make this parameter out here while we're at it. So let's go uh, create. Let's do another reference plane from here to there. And we'll just double click this and make this another parameter. Get to add this a label. So go to modify, click it, add a label. Uh, we'll call this, uh, let's just call it anything. Let's call it leg length. A little bit of type as well. We'll say OK. Now let's flex this, go back and look at our, and that would be, let's say three, it's three, and let's go a little zoom what this says here. Three and seven eighths inch. So let's make this leg length. Let's go three seven eighths inch. To apply, okay. So that's flexing, okay. Now what we want to do now is go into our. Let's go into our left elevation view. 
And there we are. So we need to get this guy a height. Now this is going to be the height to side. We can just double click this. Make it a permanent dimension. And we'll call this uh get this a label. Let's call this uh I don't know anything, it's CL2. Need to be more definitive though. I'm just doing this quickly. So that's going to be the height of our plate. So now what we need to do is um, we need to start adding geometry, adding uh, more reference planes. So we're looking at this from the left side. So hopefully I'm doing this right. So let's go create another reference plane. Let's just do it and make this easy. And let's make this quarter of an inch. And so we go a quarter of an inch here. And there should be one down here. Reference plane, yep, make a quarter of an inch there. So now we can, uh, we got our, our, and now we need to lock these down. So let's lock this one. And like this one here. Make sure we tap to the reference plane. And we lock it as well. So now, from this point, we can really start adding geometry. Like we got this right. But let's go into our reference level and take another quick look and see what's happening over there. Okay, that looks good. So let's go back into our left elevation. Now let's go create rough. Let's go create extrusion. You can use the pick line command if you want, or draw the line. Pick line is good because you can automatically lock it. You don't have to worry about locking it. Tab in here. And then there are locks. So now I see where we've got something here, but maybe we can pick it up later. So let's clean this up. We need another reference plane here. We made the depth of 12. Let's just draw this guy in. And let's clean this up here as well. Okay. Let's clean these up. We should have one here as well. I think that's wrong. Well, let's just put it in and see what happens. I'm not sure. Let's clean this up. And now let's finish our, okay, now let's go and see what's happening at reference level. Now, okay, so we just need to align these edges. So let's go and align this and lock it. And we'll align this one to here and lock it as well. So now let's look at this in 3D. So we're getting close to there now. There, there. So let's do a window tile. Let's zoom these all out. So now we got our three and three and seven eighths. And then what's the other dimension? One and seven eighths, okay. And we have that. So we have the dimensions right now. 
Only thing with this one is I want to switch this around because the longer an end is going to be attached to the unit strut. So let's go in here and let's change this. So I can do this here. Okay, wait a minute. L2. Okay. It should be three and seven inches. Okay, now let's make this. We need a parameter now. So now if you look at this, we need a parameter right here. But it's this, but it's the, 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 the control. I thought we had it. Actually, we do have it right here. No, I see what we did wrong. Let's try this three and seven eighths. Okay, and we want the one and three eighths. That will be this one. So let's make this one the L2. This is going to be the one and seven eighths. Click apply. Okay. Now that looks more like what we want. Okay. So now this is our geometry. So now what we need to do is we've got these openings here. Sorry about that. We got these openings now. And they're normally nine sixteenths of an inch. I'll give you the exact dimension when I can. So let's go into our reference level. Let's create an extrusion, a void extrusion. We want this to be a circular, a circle. And let's go here. I'm going to say nine thirty seconds. And pick finish. Now we do the same thing right here, but we can copy this. But before we copy, let's fix this. Let's clean this up. So let's take this X boy and bring it all the way down to the top of our plate. Actually, let's go to thin line and disalign it. Looks close enough, but I want to make sure. So let's go align. And yeah, we got it. There you go. So there's our first opening. We can take this and copy it. So you get three one and three quarters of an inch. And then we've got one other hole. Uh, let's see, where is it? It's in the bottom one. Or we can just go into the... the left view. I'm sorry, we can go into our front view. And in our front view, we can zoom in here. This is in wireframe right now. Let's go in the shade view. And let's do another hole, another void. Now, we can, you can measure these openings if you like. You should. But uh, I'll do that in another exercise. I'm just trying to give you a quick overview of how you do this. Let's go to 930 seconds again. And let's finish that off. Let's go into our 3D view. Now that one, I put it on the wrong end, so let's just, we can just stretch this back to that face. And we can drain this one back 
uh, the front face. Now, if you see these little yellow lines, you can just go easily and uh, cut them out. So select that, and it cuts a hole in it. So that's how you create that plate. And it's a face-based plate. Now, I'm hoping I've got some Unistrut somewhere on here so I can show you how to attach this to a piece of Unistrut. Uh, let, me, let me see. Probably should have opened one. Um, here's one right there. Nope, not that one. Wait. Let me see if I can find a piece of strut here. Okay. Just bear with me a sec. Okay, uh, oh boy. That'd be nice if I can find one right quick. I don't like to do these too long. Let's get bored. Let's see a piece of Unistrut. Uh, let's just use this. I got a hanger in here. This is a good example. I'll use this hanger. So now this is a hanger. I'm going to put this in 3D view. So what's typically going to happen is, I'm going to tile this. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to take this piece that we needed to create. And let's load this into the family. And so it say place on face. And there's that piece. So you see the piece that we wanted is sitting like that picture, basically. So that's how you do that. Uh, so um, get do those. Take your time. Got any questions, drop me a line here or I'll see you in chat site. Thanks for watching this video and uh Talk to you later. Bye.